Who saw this coming from a mile away? I did. You probably did out there yourself. But the Libprogs, who have below a room temperature IQ, don't really didn't really see this coming. They don't really care. They they're all eating plant-based food anyways, apparently, most likely. So the, the Turnip Administration is close to declaring climate emergency to ration gas, electricity, and meat. So according to the Heartland Institute, the signs are there that the Potato Administration will declare a climate emergency that would see gas rationing, restrictions on electricity use, and the limits on air travel. You'll know what happens when you ration something, right, that doesn't need to be rationed. The price skyrockets and there's corruption to no end. That's what will happen. People are still going to get their gas somehow. They're going to fill up 500 gallon tanks, you know, throughout a couple months before this rationing starts to happen. So to say that this is going to do anything is dumb. So you're going to cripple the airline industry, the travel industry, the trucking industry. You're going to cripple all of that because of a perceived and very dubious claim on climate emergencies. That, that's what you're going to do? That's what you're going to do? Nah, I don't think so. So the move would also place limits on meat and dairy consumption in order to meet the net zero goals of the globalist green agenda. Agenda 2030, the, which, which was the, which was, which followed after agenda 2021 and all that nonsense from the UN. They're slowly putting it on because they keep putting in leftist douchebags into power and they keep leftist douchebag right there. Right there in front of your face. That keep putting these policies in place that create artificial dependencies for some reason. The reason's clear. They want to control you. The, ri- the, the, the rich men of North Richmond want to control you. Um, it says the Heartland Institute says the insiders have revealed that the Biden administration has been working with the United Nations to prepare for authoritarian restrictions. Amid the behind-the-scenes maneuvering, the UN's website has been updated with a few new climate, the climate emergency page. The science is clear. Okay. The world is, is in a state of climate emergency, and we need to shift into emergency gear. Humanity's burning of fossil fuels has emitted enough greenhouse gases to significant alt, significantly alter the com, composition of the atmosphere, and average world temperature has risen between 1.1 and 1.2 degrees Celsius. Um, what about all the... Oh, I don't know. The wars that are going on that doesn't create no 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 that doesn't that's no that's good that's good carbon release in Ukraine and Russia that that's all good for them right that's good for the environment right oh it's also good that uh, volcanoes continually spew regardless of whatever we do also China isn't necessarily signed on to the Paris Accords they're building a what a coal plant every two weeks so you're gonna tell me that. We're, we're going to do something we're somehow recycling a little more and not driving my car and eating less meat is going to reduce carbon. No, 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 no people out there in Lazo land. You are the carbon they want to reduce. They want to reduce my carbon by removing me. They want to remove you, but not them. No, 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 not the rich elite, not the rich men from North Richmond. No, 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 no. Those people are fine. You're the problem. Even Jane Goodall said we need to reduce the human population by 95%. How are you going to do that? Tell me that. Tell me that, Jane. How are you going to do that? How are you going to remove 95% of the population of the world? How are you going to do that? Oh, I know how they want to do it. But you shouldn't. And for every degree in rising temperatures, the cost of adaptation will rise exponentially. We all know this is happening. We know this is going to happen. We all know they want to push this. These scumbags north of Richmond want you in a ditch. They were global, the globalists over in Davos and Belgium, Brussels, the UN. They all want to, they all want you. They they want you out of the picture so they can live a full life because there's, and I don't even necessarily believe they believe in climate change. But if they tell enough people that they believe it, they can create sort of a religion behind it where, whereby people will follow through. Case in point, and I'll give you this final word here. The carbon capture or the carbon capture plan and the carbon offset and carbon s- selling your carbon credit, the carbon credit selling system, whatever it is, whatever amalgamation it comes to, comes to be. 
So what they're saying now is that they want to assign everybody on Earth certain carbon credits. And if you want to go on vacation, you're, and it depends on how far away it is and how what sort of modes of transportation you take. Let's say uh, you're in the United States, you want to travel to Europe, that's five carbon credits. But let's say you don't make enough money to travel to Europe. So they want what they want to do is you sell your fictitious carbon credits to, to some rich guy who will then buy purchase those carbon credits to fly wherever he wants. Thereby saying, you basically buying an indulgence, meaning that I'm going to violate the earth, so therefore uh, I'm going to give this this company some money and buy this chucklehead in uh, Virginia's carbon credits because he's not going to use them. So I can go to Europe and do whatever the hell. Think about that is what they want to do. That that's how, that Oliver Anthony song that just came out, Richmond of North Richmond, this is all their scam. This is what they want to do. They're trying. They're pushing us down to a point to where we can't move, we can't travel freely. They want to ration the gas, the electricity, the meat, all because of some scientists say that the Earth temperature is rising. And recently, by the way, they just some scientists have just determined that the Earth, the the universe, is not 13.7 billion years old. It's 26 billion years old. And in that light, the Earth that we live on, w traveling through the universe in a galaxy far, far away, we could even be older than that. Maybe we're not even that old. We don't know. Absolutely don't know. But the scientists seem to be absolutely sure that it was hotter 26 billion years ago. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. Or even 3 billion years ago on Earth than it is now or even a million years. You can't know that. And to suggest that we're going to ration all this crap to do what? Reduce carbon? Okay. But like I said, the carbon they want to reduce is you.